Hello and welcome to the Stabila eCampus. Since 1889, we at Stabila have been developing and producing measuring tools of the highest quality for professional use. Most people today associate Stabila with a product that is used and appreciated by every craftsman on building sites and in the workshop, the spirit level. Stabila is the specialist for high quality and reliable spirit levels made in Germany. In this video, my colleague Michael Haag and I will talk about the components of a spirit level that are crucial for measuring accuracy. We will show you what you should look for when buying a spirit level and why our spirit levels are permanently accurate and reliable. Michael, I would say that probably everyone knows what a spirit level is, how it looks like and what you can do with it. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, many spirit levels, or most of them, look similar mm -hmm. if you buy them. And so, at one, first glance, they are all the same. But uh, at the second glance, there are huge differences. Oh, aren't they? oh yes, and uh, they exist, and we show them in this video exactly these differences. But before we go into details, let's show how a spirit level is constructed in general. Mm -hmm. Every spirit level is a measuring system that basically consists of a profile in which a vial is inserted. In the past, the profile was made of wood. Mm. Today, most spirit levels are made of aluminium because it is lighter and more resistant to temperature and weathering than wood. By the way, Stabila was the first German manufacturer to use aluminium for the spirit levels uh, from 1956. So, profile plus vial, that makes the spirit level. In principle, yes. However, for the spirit level to measure accurately, two things are required. Mm -hmm. Firstly, the profile must be completely straight. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can forget it right away. That makes sense. And this is why we check every profile uh, before we go into the production. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And so that the profile does also not bend in use, it must be really robust. We offer different profiles here for different needs. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, to explain them all would take a lot of time in this video. Mm -hmm. So we concentrate on the technology and everything, uh, but we will make videos for each individual uh, spirit level series we have. Yes. And now we come to the second prerequisite for accurate measuring. The vial must be aligned really parallel to the measuring surface of the profile. Even a small change in vial orientation has an immense effect on the measurement. Mm -hmm. Just give me your business card, please. Mm -hmm. And I'll take now here the vial, mm -hmm. which is implemented into spirit level. Mm -hmm. And now, please look how thin mm -hmm. the business card is. And now, we'll look at the position of the vial. So it's a little bit out of center, but yeah. to the right. Mm -hmm. And now, I put the business card under the vial. Wow, that's a huge difference. Yeah, and imagine that this is the deviation of the vial from the measuring surface. Mm. And even with such a small deviation and with sm mm. such a small business card, you can no longer measure accurately. All right, so I have to be sure that nothing is out of place when using a spirit level even after falls, mm -hmm. because how easy it is to accidentally drop the spirit level, we all know. Sorry for that. No problem, no problem. Everything is okay. Okay, at least with similar levels. Yeah. <laughs> we will explain why. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, uh, if the spirit level is misaligned in the profile, um, or no, the vial is misaligned in the profile, then the, in the worst case you measure incorrectly after falls or whatever, yep. because you don't check the spirit level normally uh, before you use it. Yeah, exactly, you because you trust in the end what mm. you have. And this happens really a lot uh, with spirit levels on the market, because the vials are not installed in such a way that nothing can move, for example, after a fall. Mm -hmm. So how are the spirit levels? Uh, um, built and how are the vials fixed in the profile? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you show us? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So um, in the market you can't see that. So we solved that for you uh, and we've done it for you. So That's let's nice. start mm -hmm. with the first ones. We okay. just 
move away our profiles here mm -hmm. that we can see the other ones. So first one. Yeah. So at the first one we see that the while itself is just simply clicked in. Mm -hmm. So but as you can imagine if I just push here from the top yeah. you can just push it inside and yeah. it's completely away. Mm -hmm. And we have got another system mm -hmm. as an example. At this system we can see that it is a little bit glued, but mm. there is no, uh, in the end here at the bottom, there is much space, so the mm. while itself can still move down if you yeah. push it, for example, no from the top. Apart, nothing, yeah. Exactly, and it's not connected also to the measuring surface mm. itself. Mm -hmm. Then the third system we can find on the market screw. Yeah, it's a screw and with this screw the while itself is also calibrated into the profile but there is tension on it. Mm -hmm. And what happens with tension when the temperature changes to high or low temperatures? Uh, normally detension. <laughs> exactly and because of that we have yeah. a deviation also mm -hmm. in the accuracy. Mm -hmm. All right. And now we come to my highlight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's the highlight uh, for all of us. Um, <laughs> they just used some construction foam here at the wow. bottom for <laughs> fastening the level in the end. So, oh, if this is accurate, mm, I don't know on the long run. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't say anything to that. <laughs> so, but what all these types of fastening do not have is the possibility of finally aligning this in the assembly and connecting it mm -hmm. to the profile in such a way that this does not even move with temporal fluctuations, aging processes or vibrations, for example. No, I can see. Yeah. 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 For example, this. Yeah. What can you adjust? Yeah, you Nothing. Just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, now we know what you can find on the market. Mm -hmm. How does it look like at Stabila? Mm -hmm. At Stabila we have the uh, locked wilds system, mm -hmm. how we call it. And our installation system, we can see it here, is characterized by the fact that in our production the spirit level is inserted into a special spirit level block holder here at the top. This block holder is then inserted into an installation block mm -hmm. and this is installed into the profile itself. Wow. The while here at the top, mm -hmm. which is in the beginning still movable in the system, because here we already added a clue, but in the beginning there is no clue, is then precisely aligned with the measuring surface. The entire system is then encapsulated with a special synthetic resin. The entire while installation system and the profile are thus permanently and immovably aligned with each other. Wow. So a complete system, I, you can see it here exactly, yeah, and uh, you can't see the, the three components which you just mentioned, because everything is now uh, made up with this resin and, and completely a solid block. Yeah. But that also is the reason why the vial can't move anymore, even yeah. if there's a big shock like I just <laughs> when I just dropped the, to the level to the floor. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So that's the... Yeah, the, the reason behind the permanent accuracy of Stabila yeah, levels. Yeah. But as we said, you cannot see it from outside uh, and that's the big issue. That, that's because a pity sometimes. Yeah, yeah. it is definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so here Stabila levels accurate from the first day and to the last. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. So this is also why millions of craftsmen rely on Stabila on the job site because they know they can measure permanently correct. Yeah, yeah. Keyword accuracy, Michael. This is indicated in millimeter here on our spirit levels. You can see a symbol. Mm -hmm. I just put it in the camera. This one? Yep, or exactly. Here. Uh, uh, this means uh, here that we measure and guarantee uh, maximum deviation of plus minus 0 0.5 millimeters per meter. Exactly, exactly. And the longer the spirit level also is and the longer the distance is you want to measure, the more important it is to be able to rely on the information. Mm -hmm. Because for example, the spirit level two meters long, the deviation is already plus minus one millimeter. Mm, okay, that makes sense. So it's worth taking a look at the manufacturer's specification or what's printed on the level. So if you don't find anything on the level, then be cautious. <laughs> yeah, the problem is you can print a lot of things on the level. You also have to comply with mm -hmm. it. 
if I don't know how the vials are installed, the printed measurement accuracy is of no use to me in the mm, end because it could be there, it could be printed on it, but if the vial is really that accuracy, you cannot really trust it. So there's also no law which says you have to uh, be like that or whatever. No, so uh, no. everyone can print everything on it. Yeah, there is no regulation regarding to accuracy mm -hmm. of spirit levels. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, okay. We also print a second symbol on the spirit level. What does that mean? The second symbol indicates the measurement accuracy in the so-called reverse position. Mm -hmm. So this is this here? Yeah, yeah? exactly. Okay. Uh, Reverse position means I measure what? How? Can you just us? take the ah, level okay. like this, okay. for example, to the ceiling or something mm. like that. Okay. And because of that, as you can see here, the vial is in reverse position, upside so down. it's not on yeah. the same position so than before. Upside down. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And if you take it exactly as a user and as a manufacturer, mm -hmm. a specification of the measuring accuracy is also appropriate there. Mm -hmm. Depending on the type of spirit level, the measuring accuracy in the reverse position can be different from that in the normal position. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, we have in normal position 0.5 millimeters per meter mm -hmm. and in the reverse position 0.75 okay. millimeters per Depends meter. Depends on the series which we have. Depends on the series, exactly. So if you want to, s to use this spirit level upside down, you should make sure that the spirit level really can be used upside down and you can recognize this by the corresponding symbol. That's right. Okay. Finally, a small note, because all Stabila spirit levels are tested for accuracy at least five times during the production here in Anweiler, uh, and because we ensure a lasting precision with our locked vial system, we give a manufacturer's guarantee of 10 years on all our aluminium profile spirit levels. The exact warranty conditions can be found in the text accompanying this video and on our website. So, dear viewers, I hope we have been able to provide you with interesting and worthwhile information on the subject of spirit level installation systems and measuring accuracy. In the second and last part of the series, you will learn more about our Stabila quality spirit uh, vials. You can also find more interesting videos on the subject of measuring tools on our Stabila official YouTube channel in the eCampus playlist. Why not take a look? Thank you and good luck in everything you tackle.